Hello, Pisces. How are you? Pisces, we're getting ready to do the three card reading. Okay, so I'm ready to do that for you. And then I'm going to move on about my day. Um, Pisces, thank you for all those who like, share, and subscribe to my channel who are loyal to me. Thank you for all the people that have been getting private readings for me, donating to my channel since I've been here. Your readings have been amazing. And I'm learning from your readings. I really am because remember, you are me and I am you. And I'm learning a lot from your reading. I really am. So I want to do a reading on the route uh, where I'm at. So I'm going to get it all together before I leave here. I'm going to go check out the beach today and see what it's like. Um, on my part of where, I, what I'm doing, you know, I like talking about a lot what I'm doing, but I just want to take you there, okay? So, um, just stay in, in tune with what I'm doing today, okay? So, we're trying to move on. Um, Pisces, thank you for all those who go onto my webpage, buy my jewelry. Um, like I said, I don't have no jewelry to show you because I sold out here. Um, but I am grateful for everything and what I'm doing here. Um, I'm trying to get a Zoom together so that I will be able to Zoom you in so it won't be everybody um, cross watches. No, it will be personal and I will be able to tell you what I'm going to be doing here. Okay, so let's get going on with this reading. Um, I want to send out shout-outs to everyone, to each and every one of y'all from the bottom of my heart. I truly appreciate everything that you do for me. All right? Um, I'm enjoying uh, what this transformation that I came here. Um, I didn't come here to look for it, but I feel like this trip here this time was for me to transform into what I really want to do and who I am. Um, I keep speaking on telling y'all, watch the surroundings and watch how people approach you and what, who they are in your life and what they mean. Um, I just came here to, you know, see what was, what could be offered for me. I didn't come here to look for nobody or nothing like that. I didn't come here to look for no trouble, nothing. I just came here to open up doors to see what I can bring to the table. Um, so my growth here has meant a lot to me. I'm learning a lot. Um, I'm new to to this place, so it's a lot more that need to be learned. But I like to share it with each and every one of y'all. I feel like when someone is on a journey with you, no matter where you are, what you're doing, they're going to be there regardless of what. Um, they're not looking at you for all of this whatever they looking at for all the wrong reasons they know that they can be there with you but when people don't do that um it makes you second question they loyalty loyalty to you and that's why i stand i stand at loyalty i want to feel i want to know who is who and who is real who is not with me um it's not about me coming here um looking for this no i came here on a journey and for all those, and I'm not talking about my vices, for all of those who are not there with me on this journey, then I don't know what else to tell you, but I want to grow. I don't want nobody stopping my growth. Okay, so with everything I'm saying, if anything i got to cut off, I will do it. When I get home, I will pull out the blade because I mean what I'm saying. I don't pull the knife out unless I mean it, but I mean what I say. And I stand by what I say 100%. And whatever it is, good, and whatever ain't meant to be for me, it ain't going to be. So I'm going to live by that, all right? I'm not going to run around chasing nobody, kissing nobody's ass to want to be with me or be a part of me. I don't have the time for it. I got a lot of shit to do, and it doesn't involve kissing no ass, okay? So, um, you, so I'm going to, all right, so you had two cards that flew out. And I wasn't going to, I wanted to do one of each, but two cards flew out. The first card you got is the Ace of Earth, Earth sign, um, Capricorn, excuse me, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. 
The next sign you got is the Eight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. And the sign after that is the King of Fire, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. So you got everything but you, Pisces. The first sign you got is the Ace of uh, the Ace of Earth, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. A uh, windfall of abundance, wise choice, a good future, an exciting career opportunity, a luxury contact, okay, a significant purchase of a house, a vehicle, a home, apartment, um, something here moving into somewhere else, finding, relocating. Um, getting a new vehicle, getting a motorcycle, a moped, anything, okay? But I feel like you're moving on with abundance. You're making wise choice, wise decision. You're listening to uh, other people's advice that they're giving you, okay? Then you come into um, the eight of, of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, an issue up here of feeling entrapment to something. Something is making you feel like trapped. Something that you can't get out of your head. It may be a person or whatever. But it's something here keeping you trapped in your thoughts. A lack of self-confidence. Feeling like you are not good enough to do what you want to do. What you are. Don't let nothing, none of that come into your head. Um, that makes you feel helpless. Being afraid to take action, taking responsibility for your life now. What I want to tell y'all, Pisces, you need to do what makes you happy, no matter what. You need to control your life. Be in control of your life. Don't, don't put your life in someone else's hand. Control your life. Let me tell you something. Whatever it is that is not good for you, there is something that's going to be better, okay? Do not let your feelings and your emotions take over your thoughts about a person or wherever you was at in a, in a situation where you feel like you need to move on and you feel trapped in this situation because you don't know how to handle it. Sometimes we feel insecure about whatever we've been through in our life that we don't trust people, okay? But it all depends on the way people act towards you and how they treat you. That is why I always tell y'all, Pisces, and I'm going to continue to tell y'all. People live in this world that wants so bad to be where you are at when they can be bigger and better than you. And it's no reason to feel the way that they feel because it's enough out here for all of us. It's enough money for everybody. Okay, no one should feel or be feeling a certain way about you. No one should feel that way. Do you understand? You need to understand that no one should stand in your way of your happiness. I don't give a fuck who it is that you're thinking about, who you've been with, who you in love with. If it ain't right, it ain't right. And believe in me, you want to hear something? If you ask that person, they can't even say they love you. They can't even say they miss you. Because guess what? It ain't right. When people love you, they find a way to you no matter how far, how, how close, whatever it is. It don't matter what happened. They find a way to come to you or find you or reach out to you. But when people don't see it like that, they don't give a fuck. And that's what you need to understand. There's people out here that are in your circle, that are, let me tell you, Pisces, first of all, I'm going I'm to break it down to you. I want you to know one thing. If you ain't fucking a nigga or a bitch or whatever it is, and I talk to you slang, because that's who I am, and I'm not going to change for nobody. Hey, okay? So in other words, if you don't understand slang, let me tell you in pure teen English. If you fucking... Whoever you fuck, okay? Because see, Pisces, 
The people that get to you are the people you lay in the bed with. That's the people that can fuck you. All right? I don't even see as it being your kids. Because, see, I don't tolerate that shit for my son. And I don't tolerate that shit for my family. But I tolerate it from a nigga I fuck. Okay? And I'm getting really down to that shit. All right? Or a bitch that fucking is your best friend and cross your ass. Yeah, that's who I'm talking about. People like that. It's no either or. It's like that. And they don't serve you. Then it's time for you to say goodbye. Who got the time to waste at this age and you living day for day? You don't know what's going to happen the next second, the next hour, the next day, the next month, the next. You just live for today. And you need to be happy about today. You got that? There's no reason for you not to be happy about your happiness. And that's what's important to me to tell you. You're going to always, I learned, I mean, from this experience and from me leaving home and dealing with that experience, like feeling like, you know, it was wrong that I took a trip here it, it, when it wasn't wrong. But that's how they made me feel, Right. And then getting here and meeting this one fucking person I know. Act like a fucking lunatic. Like she fucking beyond. That ain't what you call a friend. That's called a fucking cuckoo bird. All right. I don't even know what the fuck to say now. I feel like, oh, I'm alone again. And guess what? I'm happy being alone. Because I'm going to find me some new fucking people. That's going to be good to me. And I'd rather start new than to start old and know what old is. Because old ain't nothing but trouble and drama in my fucking life. You know, I had this man tell me that, well, you're the only one to do this to me. Nobody else do this. Well, I guess I'm the fucking problem. And I guess they solved the motherfucking problem. Because they ain't been with me. So it's all good. Fuck it. I ain't going to die. I'm not going to die. The God says I'm going to die. I'm not going to lose no sleep. Because guess what? I'm going to make sure I use. Oh, I'm going to walk around with condoms in my pocketbook. Because I never again want to ever. Ever. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all better look at them condoms like lifesavers. Because these men out here, they fucking everybody and everything. And that's the same way they think about you. So you need to be prepared. Get a big one, large one, whatever it is. To fit these motherfuckers. Okay? If you need to be protected. Because these motherfuckers' energy is in everybody's pussy, and they trying to bring that shit to you, and I ain't got time for that shit. All right? And then you meet the king, or wands, or whoever this person may be in your life. You 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 buying a new car, new house, or whatever you person, moving into a new place, and but you feeling still in your feelings and in your thoughts. Okay? But you need to take responsibility for your own life because can't nobody tell you how to live. If you got to move out of uh, your father, mother's house or whatever to get into your own place, then go ahead. If you got to leave a nigga to get your own place, then do it. If you got to get transmitted, get whatever you need to get because you getting something here. And it looks pretty large. Okay? Then, But now you in your feelings about this. Because now you're in your feelings about how people, whatever. If I tell them they ain't going to like that I did, whatever. Like they think you being sneaky when you're not. Take the blindfolds off and see shit for what the fuck it is. And like I said, if you are the problem, then fucking get the solution to the fucking problem. What the fuck? Okay? Then you got this fire sign. Aries Sagittarius or Leo. This motherfucker is motivated, very inspirational, uh, can be into theater, paint, play music, uh, instruments, whatever it is they do, they want to do it. It's taking leadership into this role, okay? Stepping into the spotlight that you need to be in. You don't need to let nobody crowd you from your spotlight and put people in front of you. Now, you don't need to do that. You need to be in the spotlight. You need it when they open up the curtain is you. Not these motherfucking people, but you. Okay? Um, a public speaker speaking into people around the world. 
opening the YouTube, speaking, finding a way to speak to people. All right. Maybe some people are um, a Reiki healers or some people um, got their own business or something here that you're speaking to the public. Okay. Um, keeping your eyes on a bigger picture because this is a bigger picture. See, when people try to make you small to make themselves be looking big, honey, your picture is bigger than theirs. And I know that for a fact. I don't give a fuck what this cuckoo bird got going on. Honey, I don't give a fuck because I don't count her blessings. I'm not sitting there worrying about what she doing or what she ain't doing. I'm not worrying about what he's doing, what he ain't doing. I can't control where I'm at and where, what's going on when I'm wherever. You know, whatever they doing. I, I don't try to live two worlds. I can only live with the world that I'm in right now. How can I continue to try to make somebody feel safe about how I feel about them when they don't give, they, they're not understanding me. I'm not going to turn blue in the face every day and say, oh, I love you. Oh, I miss you. I wish you. I ain't got time for that shit. Okay? Right now, I am doing what I need to do right now. In my presence. All right. All right. Um, but um, this communication and this vision, all right, that you got, you you speaking the truth. You 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 know what you saying, it ain't no lie. You it's no lie to what you're saying, and don't let nobody make you feel like you're lying. I don't give a fuck if I get home and say, Well, uh, you was on your YouTube saying this and that. I know you saw my me. I'm not. I don't give a fuck because guess what? You don't give a fuck about me. I'm good. I'm gonna go home with the key that I got to open up my door. I'm gonna get. I. I I'm not calling nobody because I'm gonna dry my own motherfucking ass. Okay. I, I don't. I go home to my own house, to my motherfucking house, to my animals. To being happy. And I'm going to fucking live my life to the fullest once I get home. Yes, the fuck I am. I'm going to be like that for now on. I don't give up. I'm not going to have nobody stressing me out because they ain't even worth it. All right? I'm not. And it says don't be sensitive about criticism. Baby, I ain't going to be sensitive about nobody criticizing me. I'm going to just say fuck you. I don't give a fuck about you criticizing me. Because guess what? I ain't even going to be around to see the shit. Because I'm not being around them type of people no fucking more. I learned a great lesson. She better not fucking come to my house. She better not fucking say she's sorry. Fuck you and you're sorry. Don't come near my house. Okay? You have no reason to come to my house. You're not welcome in my house. Okay? Yeah. And whoever else don't like anything I said, I don't give a fuck. Okay? You don't give a fuck about me, I don't give a fuck about you. That's the way I am. Girl, when I get home and I pull that sore out, I mean cut, cut, cut. I got that nasty fucking attitude that when I say I'm done, I'm done. So if they say they was done with me a long time ago, well, guess what? Now we met up. We're done. And it's all good. I don't give a fuck. If I got over somebody that was good 28 years, I can get over anybody. And that motherfucker was good because at least whatever he did to me, um, I still was getting paid. What the fuck? It ain't like I was somebody ain't doing shit. And I'm with this stupid ass bitch here that's getting on my nerves. Okay? Nobody doing shit. But everybody want to talk about me. Fuck them all. You understand? Live your life, Pisces. Who? If the dick is good and it ain't treating you right, let it go. If you got a dumb bitch and don't want to fuck with you, let that bitch go. Let, that fucking craziness. I ain't got, uh, listen, life is too short. Once they throw the dirt, once they fucking put me in that, uh, that, that cardboard box into that damn oven and, and cremate my ass, I'm done. Once I'm, a, I'm pronounced dead, I'm done. So why not live my life to the fullest right now? It ain't nothing wrong with it. And that's what I did. I learned a great big lesson. And it took me to come fucking here for people that I <coughs> thought. And I'm talking about cross watchers. 
that cared about me. They gave me that ass to kick. They fucking put these stabs on my back, try to fucking demolish my ass. Nah, baby, well, you can't do that, not to me. Because, see, a bitch like me, how about that bitch talking about some she knew? Um, don't forget I knew you back then. What fucking part don't I ain't going to forget that you knew me back then, bitch? I always was made. You never fucking see me unmade. Even when I was behind bars, bitch lived large. You better ask anybody from 609 that locked up with me how I live. I ain't one for shit. I ran a motherfucking store. I had my own shit. When I walked in there, I had shit. I don't know what the fuck they talking about. What? In the streets, I ain't never been no broke bitch. You got me twisted when you said, remember you back then. Remember what, bitch? Remember what you still at right now? Nowhere? Uh, you mad because you got to make platters and you mad because you in the heat making platter with no air conditioning? Because I got air conditioning every fucking way. How about that? And when I get home, I still have the bitch. Okay? And what? You mad because I popped it off when I was here? Motherfuckers don't believe that I had a ride when I was in New Jersey and I never stepped foot. I had a rod. I got a, a moped. I got shit popping off. What the fuck? And now they jealous of me because you can do the same thing I did. Get your motherfucking passport. Get whatever you need to get. And get it while you can. I ain't mad at you. I ball with motherfucking ballers. I ball with shot callers. I'm used to that shit. It don't define who I am. Who I am is who I am. I still got to pay the, to pay the path for my role, for what I'm doing. It, that don't mean nothing. But Pisces, for real, for real, Pisces. My Pisces studios are the motherfucking bombs. And I stand 101 behind your ass. And can't nobody make me fucking... Un I don't give a fuck if they don't understand how hard I work to get my Pisces studio. And if they don't understand it, I don't give a fuck. But I love my Pisces studio. And I rocks with them motherfuckers. That's what I do. And whatever I tell you is the fucking truth. And nothing but the truth. Because can't nobody love you like you. Do you understand? I'll talk to y'all later. If you need a reading, get it from me or someone else. Okay? And I'm going to continue to tell you this. Don't let no one stand in your way. Move them motherfuckers out and be like, get the fuck out of here. Let me see. I need to get to that stage where I belong. Can you just move? Excuse me. I'm Lisa Ramos. I'm the one that's on the stage. Because I don't remember seeing your name on this bitch. Because I don't remember even putting you to open up my motherfucking stage. Get the fuck out of here. That's the way you look at these motherfuckers, Pisces. You got that? I'll talk to y'all later. One love. See ya. It's a full moon and motherfuckers are coming out like a full moon. Don't come my way because I'll your ass. See you. Bye.